I love using BookBolt to create books and sell them on Amazon KDP. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add pages, remove pages, and how it affects your cover size. First thing I'm going to show you is the view option, and you can view your book and how many pages we have in a couple different ways. The sample project that I've got here, this is just a blank book, and you can see down at the bottom it says sample project 6 by 9 that's the size of the book in inches, 55 pages and then bleed in paperback. So 55 pages is the size of the book. If you want to see all the pages, you can scroll down on the left-hand side and you can see them all, or you can simply click the little eyeball graphic right here. When I click on the eyeball graphic, you're now going to be able to toggle between three different views. I've got my list view, I've got a list view that's just slightly larger if you've got really detailed pages, and then a book view where you can go through individually. Here's my cover, which is blank. I can then click next. Here's page one and then page two and three, and I can go through my book in that regard. So if you're in list view small, you can go to any individual page. I'm currently on the cover, and if I wanted to go to page 18, for example, I simply click on page 18, and that will take me now to page 18 inside my book. I'm only seeing page 18 in the middle, and on the left, I've got my thumbnail that's highlighted as page 18. To add a page is pretty easy. There's a blue button underneath every page, and if you want to insert a page right after that page, go ahead. So I'm going to click Add Page, and it's going to say, hey, are you sure you want to add a page? This will affect your cover. I'll click OK. Now I go from 55 pages to 56 pages. If you'd like to delete a page, it's also very similar. Simply click any page you like. So here I'll go to page 11. I'll right click it and then I will go to delete this page. It'll ask me the same question. Hey, are you sure you want to do this? It's going to affect your page count. It's going to affect your margins. It's going to affect your cover. You say click OK, and now I go from 57 pages back down to 56 pages. Deleting, very easy to do. Simply right click and delete. If you want to add, simply click on the blue button. Let's go up to the cover now. I want to show you how this affects your cover. So I'd highly recommend working on your cover last because this cover page will change over time depending on the amount of pages you've got. Imagine a book with 500 pages. The spine would be very thick because the book itself would be very thick. Here I've just got 56 pages. My spine is very thin. How can you tell if your spine size is changing when you add or delete pages? I'll show you. Here you've got spine width listed right there. It says 0.126 spine width. Okay, remember that number, 0.126 spine width. I'm going to right click on page one and I'm going to click on delete this page. And instead of 0.126 spine width, it's now going to change to 0.124 spine width. The spine width just decreased. I'll right click again, I'll click delete this page, and instead of 124 spine width, it's now 122 spine width. So you're going to notice the spine width changes as you add or delete pages in your book. So this is a really nice feature on BookBolt because the book cover changes to match. Let's say, for example, I wanted to add in a shape and I put it over top of my book. I can change the opacity down to, say, 40. If I add a page by clicking the blue box, we're going to see it goes from 0.122. It changes to 0.124. So over time, you want to make sure that this graphic that you've placed on top of your book, or if you've got graphics placed inside your book, the, the size of the image will change, albeit small, but if you're adding in many, many pages, you're going to notice a radical change over time if you make your book quite a bit bigger or quite a bit smaller. I hope you found that helpful. I really like using BookBold. It's very easy and very intuitive, and you can make a high-quality book with ease. I'll put a link to BookBolt in the video description below. Just a heads up, it is an affiliate link. That just means if you click on the link and purchase the BookBolt subscription, I would receive a small commission. Here is another video on how you can supercharge your print-on-demand bookmaking skills using BookBolt.